Alright, in this video I'll be going over some basic mealtime stuff alongside ingredients and recipes. On Cerebi, you can find out which Pokemon drops which ingredients, and the ingredients required to make a certain recipe. So each day, you can prepare up to 3 meals for your Snorlax. Once at 6am local time, once at noon, and then once again at 6pm local time. The meals that you can cook for Snorlax will depend on its preferred meal type for that week. If you are on a salad week, you can only cook salad related dishes. Personally, I only do drinks and desserts because at this stage of the game, you can cook the final dessert dish with just basic ingredients. For the other two categories, you need tier 2 ingredients to make the final dish. For this, I usually just use a travel ticket until I get drinks and desserts regardless of the berry type on Green Grass Isle. When mealtime comes, I would highly suggest that everyone cook a complete recipe rather than using one ingredient to make a mixed dish. Mixed dishes occur when you use ingredients that don't make a full recipe. I know at the beginning of the game, most players will struggle with getting enough ingredients to fill the pots or to even cook a recipe. During the first few weeks of the game, it's completely okay to make mixed dishes, but after a while, maybe 2 or 3 weeks in, everyone should always be striving to cook an actual recipe. I will get into the reasons why you should always cook a named recipe later, but for now, let's talk about ingredients. If you are struggling with ingredients, here's a few quick tips on how to get more. If you do happen to have a bad berry week with no matching berries, you can always go the ingredient route. You can do this by running 5 of the Kanto starters as they have ingredient magnets and they drop 2 ingredients each. Caterpie is also a good early game option for ingredients as you can evolve into a Butterfree by level 8. Over the period of that bad berry week, you should gain a significant amount of ingredients from Ingredient Magnets S and the double ingredient drops from the Kanto Starter. Do note that Ingredient Magnets can only spawn ingredients that you have previously acquired. If all you have are apples and honey, Ingredients Magnet will only ever spawn apples and honey. Additionally, there are other Pokemon who are Ingredient Specialists which will drop two ingredients. Try to get an ingredient specialist with an ingredient finding nature and or some ingredient finding sub skills. Another easy way to get ingredients is by using the tickets. These tickets can be purchased in the shop, obtained through friendship levels, gained by reaching a certain research rank, and through milestone achievements. Once again, just like with ingredient magnets, you can only get ingredients that you have previously acquired. You can use this to your advantage by trying to isolate harder to find ingredients such as eggs or cacao. Now, I do have the max upgrade for ingredients which is at 500. I usually never fall below 400 ingredients unless it's a Sunday. At minimum, there are always at least 2 ingredient magnet pokemons on my team and on some weeks I'll have 5 ingredient magnet pokemon. I also always have a good camp tickets active which allows my cooking pot to go up to over 40 items. So now that we have solved your ingredients issue, let's talk about cooking recipes. Like I've said before, after a certain amount of time, you want to always be cooking full recipes. When you cook a recipe, that recipe will have an XP bar that goes up by the strength of the dish. This allows you to level up the recipe which increases the base strength of the dish after reaching the next level. Higher level recipes also come with an extra cooking bonus that is percentage base. So, when a recipe levels up, you get a flat increase in base strength for that recipe and you also get a percentage base bonus for cooking that specific recipe. Also, anytime that you prepare a meal, there is a chance that you get an extra tasty meal. The extra tasty meals will give your recipe a huge increase in XP. This previous Sunday, I did hit a fat juicy crit on this 90 ingredients Jigglypuff plan that boosted me 2 levels in master rank on a Sunday. Now I know everyone won't have a 500 ingredients bag like me or always have a good camp ticket active for an increased pot size. But after a while, everyone should be able to at least cook the bare minimum for the lowest tier recipe. The last thing I want to touch on is super important, which is Sunday meals. On Sundays, everyone gets an increase to their cooking pot size. This bonus can be stacked with a good camp ticket bonus to further increase your cooking pot. Sunday meals are one of the best times to cook your recipes. This is because of the extra increase in your cooking pot. This will naturally make your dishes stronger if you do max them out with ingredients. Also, this is purely speculation for now, but extra tasty meal chance 
do seem a little higher on Sundays. I got an extra tasty Jigglypuff plan which shot it up 5 extra levels. Normally, I would have to cook this recipe 5 to 6 times to get the same results. There's always a dilemma online on whether you should cook on Sunday or not. Personally, I would say if you have the ingredients, always cook on Sundays. Every Sunday, your Snorlax strength will be at the highest, which results in higher drowsy power leading to better encounters. If you can't max out the Sunday meal, just use the bare minimum ingredients for the lowest tier dish that you can and hope for an extra tasty meal. I do believe that the longer the game has been out, ingredients will outshine berries just due to the fact that some Pokemon can drop up to 8 ingredients once per help cycle, while berries are currently capped at 3 per help cycle. That alongside the fact that recipes can crit for an extra tasty meal will make them extremely powerful the longer the game has been out. So in summary, make sure to always cook a complete recipe even if it is just a bare minimum. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, if you did make sure to subscribe and join the discord linked down below. And as always, sleep well everyone.